Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jurtic and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video we're going to see how to correct any form using a template sheet that you can add to any of the form response sheet that you have so that you can correct things in a completely automatic manner. The first thing you want to do is open up a form response sheet that you've already filled out with some students information so you can see how this works. We're going to add a sheet here. We can name this anything we want or leave it the same name it had. And the first thing we're going to do is just grab the first column with an array formula. And this will drag over just one. And the reason for this is, is because in C we're going to put actually the grades of the spreadsheet here. And this will continue on with our array formula. Don't worry if it covers up, just go up to C1. That's all we need here. We're going to drag this over to M to correspond to our 10 questions. I'm going to erase these just for the sake of clarity. You don't have to. And you can have as many questions as you want. I will show you how to modify the grading here so that it comes out to the grade that you want. After we finish that, we're going to put in here correct, which will represent the right answers, and fill these out manually. We do not have to fill out the form to do this, and later on I will show you another video in which I will put these in in an automatic manner, so you don't have to type out the answers every single time you make a form. Here, below we're going to put our names in alphabetical order. And now we will use the functions or the formulas as we wish to call them to automatically correct all of this and present the answers of each student. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the document that I've already shared with you under this video. We're going to grab the first one, the first formula here, and we're going to paste that into here. Now this one does not need a timestamp because there was one. There was no timestamp any other form responses sheets. So here we're going to put this here. This comes out as a number. Don't worry. We're going to change this so it comes out as a timestamp, which is here, date time. I'm going up here, we're just going to give that a little more room. And then here we're going to control C and then we're going to drag this down and put it as control V. And what that does is that it's going to grab the timestamps here. And why? Because we're using an index match, which is similar to a VLOOKUP, which basically says that if B3 has something inside of this cell, which is what this means here, it means if it's nothing, which in this case is nothing, there's nothing here. So if B3 has something, core in, and it has a corresponding element the exact same way in column B in the form responses sheet, then please grab the information from column A, which is the timestamp here. So this is automatic and will come out anytime we have a name here. We'll do the same thing for this side to grab the answers. We're going to grab the formula that we have here, bring that over. And as you can see, we have this basically staying the same thing, basically staying that if in B3, there's something that corresponds to the column B here, then please grab the information that is in the column C in this case because of the fact we need the answers here. So this one basically is stating that if in column C the information that you grab is not the same as D2 then we're going to put three exclamation points beside it and we'll see why in a minute. And if not then just please put the normal answer. This we're simply going to copy and drag down and paste it. And then we're going to copy that column. And then we're going to drag it over and paste it. Now this might take some time because uh, there's quite a few formulas that we're pasting here. So it will suffer a little bit at the beginning while it's pasting all these things. But as you can see, they automatically come out and these correspond to the name because of our index match function. 
and they've already been graded in a sense because this one is not the same as this. So now we have the exclamation points. Why have we done this? Because now we can color coordinate these things by grabbing the whole thing again. And then we're going to go to conditional formatting. We're going to select text contains, three exclamation points. And then we're going to put this in yellow. Done. Now with that, when we go back up, we're going to see that anything that has three exclamation points is going to be in yellow. And that's how we automatically correct these in such a way that the colors come out. So now we know which ones are wrong. We know which ones are easily wrong because of the colors. And now all we need to see is the grade here. And that will do with the last function here. Paste that guy in the first one this time because we want to add this to the very top as well. This will come out as 10. We're going to grab this, bring it down, paste them all. And as you can see, it's automatically graded these. And how is it grading it? Basically, it's making a reference that um, it's saying count the cells that do not have the three exclamation points. So because you only had four right, he's counting it as four. And this has already been dragged down so that if there's nothing in B3 or B7 or et cetera, et cetera, and there's nothing here. And if there is something, then please do the counting. And that's basically it. Now, finally, you know, for some reason, if you don't have 10 questions, because this is very easy because you have 10 here. But let's say you had more than 10. And the only thing you're going to do here is in this one here, you're going to put here the multiplication. And let's say you had 11 or 12. Let's say you had 11. Makes some difference here. Then you just put 0 0.909. And as you can see here, this changes. And it's going to correspond to how many questions you have. So you just have to make sure you put that part in this area here before the comma zero and after the parentheses here. And you put, again, the number that you want to multiply the final number with to correspond to your 10 or to your 100. If you're using 100, it makes no difference. But you just put the number in between the parentheses and the, and the comma here. And that will resolve that problem. So we're going to get rid of this. And bring it back to normal. And this is what we use to automatically create any form response. In this case, if you have exams or exercises that have the same number of questions, then all you have to do is go down here and click on copy to to copy the sheet to any other form that you have, or simply just grab and grab the entire amount of cells that you have here. You can press C and then paste it into another sheet as well. Either one will work perfectly fine so that you do not have to redo the system over and over again. And the only thing, again, you have to change is this here if you have a certain different number of questions in the answer sheet itself. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And if this has helped you, please subscribe to the channel and even think of donating if at all possible because all of your support helps me to continue on with these videos. Thank you very much and take care.